long years ago, we made a trip with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Not only... 1889, a new star arrived on the Indian firmament. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the architect of modern India, was born to shape the destiny of the country. Hundred years later, 26th May 1989 to be precise, the Indian maritime horizon saw the rise of another star. Reflecting the aspirations of the great visionary to whom it was commemorated, the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust opened up new frontiers in promoting India's international trade. It's given me great pleasure to dedicate this port in the name of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to the nation today. Situated on the west coast of India, 10 kilometers across Mumbai Harbour, and strategically located along one of the busiest shipping lanes to East Asia and Europe is the Jawaharlal Nehru Port, JNP in short. It is India's first hub port built to international standards, covering an area of 2,584 hectares. Ergonomically laid out over an operating area of about 200 hectares are the three container terminals, the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Container Terminal, JNPCT, Nawasheba International Container Terminal, NSICT, and the Gateway Terminals India Container Terminal, GTI. Being the first to be commissioned in May 1989, and operated by the port itself. The Jawaharlal Nehru Port Container Terminal spans over a key length of 680 meters. Eight rail-mounted key cranes, RMQCs, cater to efficient handling of containers from ship to shore and vice versa. Operated by 18 rubber-tired gantry cranes, RTGCs, and 10 reach stackers, the adjoining stacking yard is the model for quick traceability. There are as many as four railway tracks operated by five rail-mounted gantry cranes, RMGCs, for conveniently hauling the ICD containers, right up to the loading and unloading points inside the terminal. The present capacity of the JNP container terminal is 1.1 million TEUs per annum. Come 2008-2009, three more RMQCs and six RTGCs will join the battery, enhancing the throughput to 1.3 million TEUs. The second container terminal, NSICT, is India's first private container terminal. It was built on a BOT basis and commenced operations in the year 1999. NSICT belongs to DP World's global family of container terminals and is now also referred as DP World Navasheva. It has a key length of 600 meters and is equipped with eight rail-mounted post-Panamax key cranes. Yard operation is supported by 29 rubber-tired gantry cranes, two railway tracks for hauling ICD containers and three rail-mounted gantry cranes complete the picture of the NSICT terminal with a handling capacity of 1.2 million TEUs per annum. The third container terminal is operated by Messrs Gateway Terminals India Private Limited, GTI. GTI, the latest terminal at Navasheva, built on BOT basis in the year 2006, is a joint venture company of AP Moller Terminals and Concor. 
712 meters key length with eight twin lift rail mounted key cranes. Yard operation supported by 29 rubber tired gantry cranes. Three integrated rail sidings, each of 830 meters, complemented by three rail mounted gantry cranes. What more for self sufficiency of this GTI terminal, equipped for a capacity of 1.3 million TEUs per annum? With all the three container terminals handling about 4 million TEUs per annum, JNPT is one among the top 25 container ports in the world. Exclusively constructed for efficient handling of petroleum products, crudes and chemicals is the liquid cargo jetty. Bharat Petroleum Corporation BPCL and Indian Oil Corporation IOC manage and operate this jetty under a BOT system. With a key length of 300 meters on the outer and 250 meters on the inner, six loading and unloading arms each having a dispensing capacity of 1500 kiloliters per hour. The capacity of this jetty is 5.5 million tons per annum. A shallow water berth with a key length of 445 meters caters to vessels of up to 30,000 tons dead weight. With the installation of two rail mounted key cranes this berth will also have facility of mechanized handling by April 2008. The Jawaharlal Nehru port itself centrally handles all vessel movement into all the terminals. Monitoring of vessel movement is done through VTMS in the port operation center. All containers arriving in the yard are systematically planned for loading onto the vessels. The loading plan lays emphasis on the port of discharge, weight of the cargo and the category of the cargo, whether reefer, hazardous or general. Export containers arriving at the port are checked by the customs at the gate. After let export authorization from the customs, the container details are entered in the computer system. The container enters the port only after verification by the CISF personnel. Jawaharlal Nehru port is well connected arterially by road and rail. For faster movement of ICD rakes from and to the port, railway tracks have double lines. The cargo stuffing and de-stuffing is done at the container freight stations. There are about 20 container freight stations operating in the close vicinity of the port with a total capacity of over 1 million TEUs. The port follows strict security norms, which are ISPS compliant. JN Port is a customer-oriented port. A daily berthing meeting with port customers is held at JNPT's administration building. Customer and advisory committee meetings regularly held at the city office are presided over by the chairman of JNPT. Not surprising then, ISO 9001-2000 certification endorses the quality of JNP's operations. The board of trustees managing the administration of the port is drawn from the top echelons of administration, Navy, Railway, Customs, Coast Guard, and most importantly, includes representatives of employees' union and trade associations. Ecology finds a prime spot in JNP's planning. 
out of the total 2,584 hectares of land, about 1,100 hectares of land are earmarked as green zone, including 600 hectares of land covered under mangroves. JNP's concern for the good life of its employees is reflected in its model township, housing 2,000 residential quarters, located just 4 kilometers from the port. It also houses a shopping complex, officers club, staff club, primary school, secondary school, multi-purpose hall and a hospital. Supporting JNP's growth aspirations are two meticulously charted out expansion schemes. One is the deepening and widening of the harbour channel. Planned in two phases, this exercise will ultimately facilitate accommodating larger size and bigger capacity vessels. The second expansion scheme is the development of a fourth container terminal and marine chemical bay. Ultimately, the capacity of the new terminal will be 4.4 million TEUs of containers and 15 million tons of liquid cargo. These developmental activities are best outlined by the chairman himself. Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust is committed to meet the needs and expectations of our customers through the state-of-the-art equipment and technology. Its operations are conforming to the international standards at uh, competitive rates. Uh, Jain Port believe in continuously upgrading our infrastructure and operating models towards providing uh, cost-effective and time-bound solutions. Our efforts through developmental schemes are primarily aimed to cater to the vessels of higher capacity and the increasing demand of the new cargo by 2015-16 the port is projected to handle 10 million TUs of containers which will be thrice the present scale of operations. These expansions are costing to the exchequer about 6000 crore rupees that is upwards of 1.5 billion US dollars. Jain port is willing to give more than expecting to get because our motto is not only profit making but participate in the nation building. That is why we are offering value added services besides realizing the capacity expansion. The sea is deep because it never rejects even the tiniest rivulet. It is the same conviction at JNPT to increasingly serve all sections of trade, big or small, developed or developing, and contribute to make the nation economically stronger. In the process, if JNPT is destined for the stars, who can stop it? <laughs>